Hey guys. Well, we're back on the road again in the old Roadmaster. Uh, cruising down 431 South, uh, approaching Wadawi, Alabama. That's W-E-D-O-W-E-E. -E. Uh, this is Lake Wadawi. Both sides of us here. Well, let's see. What's the old? Let's zoom in. What's that say? 100, about 105 miles out on our trip. Uh, well, actually, it's my trip. This time, flying solo. Well, Uncle Phil's not with us this time around. Uh, I would ask him to go with me. Usually, I do, but he's uh, he kind of pissed me off last time when we went to get the gray Isuzu that you've seen in other videos. Um, when we were on our way back, we were getting probably about 10 or 15 miles out from home, and uh, he, get, he got through an intersection before I did, and turned left and disappeared, and I, I never caught up with him until about <laughs> two miles from the house. <laughs> if you can believe that, him driving a diesel four-cylinder and all that, and I couldn't catch up with him, but it uh, really wasn't funny, though, because that car was not insured and didn't have a current license tag on it or anything. You know, if he got pulled over, uh, somebody, somebody would have got a ticket. It would have been him or me or somebody, you know. But it wouldn't have been good, so I've kind of got mad about that, and I've just decided uh, that I'm just going to go ahead and do what I need to do on my own here. Um, plus, he's sleeping all the time, and every time I'd come out to the car, he'd be on the cell phone uh, telling somebody when he figured he'd be back or whatever, you know, the cell phone ring nine or ten times a day when somebody won't know where he's at. Um, so, I, anyway, he's a good guy, and I, I, you know, I like Phil a lot, and he's not, I'm not trying to hate on him, but uh, I just think we need to take a break from doing all that together for a while. Uh, I'm sure he's got things he needs to do as well. Uh, like I said, we're kind of getting close into what now, this is not a very big town down here, it's on, th uh, this this part of 431 is actually two lane. Uh, always has been. Actually, we are on the new part of the highway. This this part where you see right here is um, it's all new. Uh, about probably about 20 years ago, uh, they built this because the old part, which is over here to the east, uh, the old highway is really curvy. I mean, really curvy. Uh, to the point you can't even maintain 50 miles an hour on it, so this was a welcome improvement uh, down this way. And really, it's got passing zones on it, like you see right here, coming up the hill, so it's really not hard to maintain a good speed on this. Uh, especially with this thing, this daggum wagon with these 273 gears, I have a hard time keeping this car at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see, this is another part of Lake Wadawi. There's our welcome to sign there. Lake Wadawi. Over here, you can see the... That's the old highway coming in on the left. That's the bridge right there. This lake is really down. I don't know if they, if they do this every year, I guess. To, I don't know. I guess they either do it to kill vegetation or kill all the fish or <laughs> do something. <laughs> um, I was going to tell you real quick, I've not mentioned about what I do for a living. Um, I have a job where I go around to nine different stores, grocery stores per week. And it's a fixed route. I go to each store on a certain day. And uh, so I have a store down here, which we're about to get to any time now, that I work on Tuesdays. Um, in fact, you can see the roof of it here. Just to give you a little show of where I come down to. We're this far out, so this far, I drive this far every Tuesday and back home. That's there they are. That's WM Grocery. If you're ever down this way, uh, I'm going to give them an unpaid endorsement. If you're ever down this way, uh, stop in and see them. That's a great store. If you, you know, if it's down on the lake or something, it's a real nice guy named Doug Williams owns it. So you guys come down there and give him some business if you get the chance to. But. What I do for a living is I work for a wholesale grocery company and um, I go around to these stores and um, I'm basically what's called a service person. 
to go in and put up different kinds of orders that get shipped to the store. I don't I don't put up groceries. I put up things like uh, automotive supplies and uh, pet treats and pet supplies and just odds and ends and a lot of all the medicine usually the pills and pain relievers and laxatives and <laughs> condoms and anything like that that you see uh, that's what I that's what I stock and put up so essentially what I do is I show up at the store in the morning and work an order up a little jeep over there Wagon there. Uh, work the order up that's there and straighten up and work on shelf tags and dust and clean and pull out of dates and things like that. And then uh, I have an order machine that I use to punch new order. And I do that in every store. And once I get done with this store, actually on each day I have two stores. This is the first one I come to down here in Wadawi. And then I'll leave this one and go to another one in, over in a little town called Heflin. Uh, if you ever heard of Senator Howell Heflin, that's the town he was from, I believe. I don't think it's named after him, but it's the same same name. So that's what I do. That's where the old Roadmaster gets driven every week. Um, matter of fact, I, it gets driven a lot because I've put on, it's currently got about 126,840 something miles on it. And when I got this car back in the very end of the year last year it had 116,000 on it and that's in miles that's not kilometers so you can kind of tell uh, the amount of driving I do so hopefully I'm gonna get one of those Isuzu diesels set up to drive each day um, back and forth to work and that'll save me on gas and mileage and wear and tear and stuff because um, I like this car a lot it's a real comfortable car it's a great car but I don't like wearing it out. Um, so anyway, guys, that's a little bit of where I'm at and what I'm doing, and where I go to work one day of the week at least. So I'm just going to get on with my driving, and uh, if I see anything else to, to interest to film, I'll get back at you. See you later. Bye.